Good evening, everybody. This is Sean once again, doing the, uh, the customary imparting of the beer snobby goodness for you. I want to talk about monkeys tonight, specifically a couple of uh, monkeys that a local brewing company that some of you may have heard of called Victory happened to brew. Now, this first one here, Golden Monkey, has been a perennial favorite of both the brewery as well as its patrons for a number of years now. It is um, a Belgian based ale and uh, as uh, as per usual I've got my trusty notes and I'm trying to be more high-tech here using my my electronic method. Anyway, uh, for those that are interested uh, the composition, if you will, of the Golden Monkey, as far as the malts, two-row German malt, European whole flowers for the hops, and the yeast is imported of Belgian origin. And uh, the Golden Monkey is 9.5% alcohol by volume, which is at least one of the reasons that Victory sells a t-shirt with uh, the logo and a caption under it that says, Respect the Monkey. And trust me, I have had this, and you do. Anyway, I needed to talk about the Golden Monkey first, in order to discuss tonight's main event, White Monkey. Now this one is the Golden Monkey, only it has been soaked in... Um, white wine barrels for a 90-day period. So, according to some video that I've already seen within the last day or so, this, um, using the, the barrel aging process has actually given this a deeper color, which I can actually see myself upon pouring. So. Very nice. Hopefully the taste will be comparable. I will, uh, I will let you know. Hmm. <laughs> okay. This is going to be another one of those what I refer to as the uh, the easy verdict, if you will. The, uh, the white monkey. Very good. I would say excellent. The uh, very robust flavor in this guy. Um, the uh, the oak barrels, you know, that once held white wine, definitely helped enhance the flavor of the, uh, you know, what was once the golden monkey. This is, um, hmm. Definitely more of a fruity flavor to it, a little bit more sweet, but uh, nevertheless, excellently rich flavor in this. So, actually glad now that I bought a case of this. I was originally going to buy a simple pair of bottles, but uh, got there about 9 o'clock this morning, the line was long, and one of my personal rules when buying limited edition beer is if I sit in the line for more than five minutes, I'm going to compensate myself for my, you know, supposed pain and suffering, you know, anyway. This is, um, yeah, definitely a winner. And this one is limited edition based on what I've gathered from the, uh, the Victory website. So my recommendation, if you're an enthusiast of uh, white wine aged beers or otherwise dig the, uh, the Victory collection in general, my advice is sooner rather than later, get your butt down in Downingtown Pick up a few bottles, or better yet, a case of this stuff before it's gone, because uh, I, I don't know when or if they're going to make more of this stuff. So, up to it, folks. This stuff is worth it. So, until next time, this is Sean. Cheers.